Hey there, this is a Lucian counter video intended to fill you in on everything you need to know to deal with Lucian when he's on the opposite team. If there's a champion you find yourself struggling with in your solo queue games and you're tired of banning it, then feel free to drop a comment and let us know. If you're interested in learning more about Lucian or any other champion, then head on over to the Mobilytics website where you can see everything you need to know including builds, combos, pro builds, tips and more. So first off, what does Lucian do? Lucian is a lane bully with exceptional early game kill potential and tons of burst. Lucian has always been someone who looks to destroy his opponent's early game and snowball the game out of control. He can be impossibly hard to deal with once he gets ahead due to his passive, burst and range with his ultimate. Let's hone in a little bit on Lucian's strengths and weaknesses. Lucian is one of the champions you never want to lane against. He's an incredibly strong laning phase and always looks to gain an experienced lead and then look to all in you. Lucian has insane burst and consistent damage output due to his passive and can easily dash in and out of trades when it suits him. Lucian however is still a marksman meaning he is pretty vulnerable and easy to punish. If the jungler spends some time punishing his aggression early game, it can render him useless pretty easily and he'll never get back into the game. We're going to dive in specifically how to counter Lucian, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we'll be breaking down further in this video. First, respect his XP. As discussed already, Lucian thrives on gaining an experience lead and then abusing it with his abilities and passive. Either try to get ahead in levels or just play defensive when he levels up. Dodge his Q. Lucian can easily harass you with his Q as he farms minion waves, whittling you down until he decides to all in, so stay aware of minions and dodge avoidable trades. Stall his passive timer. After Lucian uses an ability, he gains two auto attacks in quick succession. Try to stay out of range to prevent him getting loads of free damage onto you. Abuse his low range. Lucian has a pretty low range aside from his ultimate and this will force him to come in close to deal damage in team fights. Abuse this by getting onto him when he looks to fight. He is super easy to burst when you get a hold of him. Play aggressive. This is probably the most important thing about playing this Lucian. He thrives when you gift him the lane and play defensive allowing him to do his thing. If you take the fight to him and play his own game, he often struggles to fight back. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Lucian is strongest in the lane phase where he can abuse his early game prowess. He will look to gain a lead here and snowball into the rest of the game. Lucian is weakest after the laning phase, especially if he doesn't get ahead. Lucian doesn't scale incredibly well, so if he doesn't get a significant lead early on, he is very easy to deal with. So let's talk a little bit about Lucian's early game. Most of the early game advice we've already mentioned earlier, so make sure to pay attention to those to keep him under control. Lucian is picked for his lane strength, so this is where you need to play at your best to beat him. Lucian will always look to gain an XP lead and then all in a jump for a burst trade. Either look to gain XP advantage yourself, or take a step back until you can even the odds on levels. Don't take unnecessary harass. Lucian will look to queue you through a mini wave, auto attack you whenever you overextend for CS, or just simply use his abilities and passive to whistle you down. Try to avoid this as much as possible, as this will just allow him to work towards an all in. Build early sustain, or if you get bored, just try and kill him. The most important thing is not to gift Lucian his lane. This is exactly what he wants and he thrives when he can do exactly as he pleases. Look to catch him off guard and take him down. The sooner he gets behind, the easier the game will be. Looking over towards Lucian's mid game, at this point Lucian will look to abuse his lead that he gained from the laning phase. He will look to constantly force fights and skirmishes and try to influence his snowball across the map. Depending on his lead, always look to start fights by taking him out. Lucian's mid game is super strong if he has a decent lead. Try to abuse the fact that Lucian has a low range. Aside from his ultimate, he has to get in super close to deal any damage as most of his damage comes from his auto attacks and his passive. When he steps into fights, lock him down and take him out. Lucian Z has done a very low cooldown and he gets lower every time he hits a target with his passive. Always be aware that he can dash as often as he deals damage, so don't get caught out by his mobility in fights. Don't contest objectives or force fights when you don't need to. A common mistake in many games is to always contest objectives no matter how far behind you may be. If Lucian is snowball and out of control, you will want to stall the game as much as you can and get to the late game where he starts to fall off. Don't be afraid to give up a few dragons so you can farm up and take him down later in the game. In the late game, Lucian will struggle to be as effective as his scaling is not the strongest. His low range will cripple him and he'll struggle to get into fights without getting blown up. He'll still deal a decent amount of damage but will get outscaled by late game powerhouses such as Vayne or Jinx. Despite this, Lucian can still deal decent damage. He will likely focus on hitting the nearest target with his allies and play amongst his own teammates. Just because he isn't as strong at this point, doesn't mean he can't take out your whole team alongside his allies. Try to split him up and take him out when he has no one to defend him. Lucian really struggles to deal with CC. His mobility is reliant on him hitting targets with his passive, so if you keep him crowd controlled, he will struggle to dash around and do his job. Watch his flank. Due to Lucian's lower range and average scaling, he may look to clean up a flank instead. Always be aware of where he may be and try to ward him out when possible. Let's take a look at some of the items that work well against Lucian. Plated Steel Caps. These are an easy option to take in lane this Lucian as they shut down his auto attack damage significantly. Bramble Vest and Seeker's Arm Guard. Both solid armor options to take when laning against Lucian to attempt to bring down his damage a notch. Sonya's Hourglass and Guardian Angel. 
The passives on these items can buy you time to regain your cooldowns and kill Lucian off. It can also be used to save your life and stop Lucian from gaining a lead. Radarin's Omen and Frozen Heart These big armor items will bring down Lucian's mobility and attack speed which go hand in hand. In the late game he'll struggle to deal with you when you have these items. That wraps everything for our Lucian counter video. If you enjoyed this video then you can find more counter videos on our website or in the playlist link below and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you again.